I am actually very worried about the future of Latidoc. If you don't know what Latidoc is, it's like this dock that you can use in KD Plasma or any other desktop and it's a dock so you can use it like a panel or with your apps on it. Check it out, it's very nice but I'm worried about this feature. And the reason for that is first of all this blog post. Uh, the author of Latidoc, which uh, name again I should not, I should pronounce, but I, I'm not able to. And uh, actually, it's a person that helped me a lot develop features for uh, the panel in KD Plasma. So it's a developer that actually helped me a lot. So I'm gonna say thank you a lot. And um, unlikely due to personal uh, reasons, such as I think it sides like uh, lack of time and motivation, these kind of things sadly happen, he won't be developing LatDoc anymore. And uh, <laughs> what does this mean for the project? L let's try to understand that. Uh, one very important thing is that he hoped to release LatDoc version 11, but he didn't meaning that the latest version of Latidoc currently is version 10, uh, which is not Git master. Git master is currently a work in progress of version 11, which it didn't publish because it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be able to actually maintain it. So I'll talk about version 11 because this is important. But first of all, let's address uh, a question that I got asked a lot, which is, couldn't the KDE team pick up late uh, development or make similar features native. So let's always remember that Latidoc is a project from KDE, is a KDE project in everything. It's hosted on KDE, so uh, technically uh, Psyphidotos was the maintainer, but it's a project from KDE. And what this means is that, yes, there will be some interest from other KDE developers to make sure that Latidoc continues to work, but I'll get to that. Another question is making similar features nat native, that is bringing those features to the Plasma panel, which is the one that I brought some features from Latte to the Plasma panel. Mm -hmm. So how that works is that in theory, you could imagine it as uh, taking the code from Latidoc, copy pasting it to the uh, Plasma panel and everything works. Of course, that's not how it works. It doesn't work. And if you want to implement something in the Plasma panel, uh, it's very, 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 very likely that you have to write in from scratch, which I did. I implemented floating uh, panels for the la last, uh, latest version of KD Plasma. And that is a feature that Latidoc has. And in the past you had to use Latidoc to use floating panels, now no more. But uh, <laughs> Latidoc has a lot of features, like a lot of them. If you actually go see its code, which is here, and uh, well, it's hidden in these folders, but as soon as you get uh, as soon as you get to the <laughs> to the right one, it's you realize how much code is in Latidoc, and you can just go into its settings to really see how many features Latidoc has. So l only Latidoc can be Latidoc because we cannot uh, have a panel out of the box that has so many settings, so many functionalities, and necessarily more bugs than before. Because if you had so many things together it's going to be buggier compared that if you have less features. That's necessarily true, sadly. So no, we cannot just make sure that all Latidoc features are available natively. That's simply impossible to make, uh, make that happen. Now, one very important thing about Latidoc version 11. So when Plasma 5.25 was announced, uh, Latidoc version 10, which is the latest version, uh, didn't quite work on it. It had too many bugs and uh, sadly this is still the case. If you download stable Latidoc and use it on the latest version of Plasma, of KD Plasma, it just won't work, like it will work, but with uh, too many bugs. So, uh, so many bugs that again, the other, the maintainer, which now stepped back, actually asked not to use that version of Latidoc in KD Plasma 5.25 at all. So it says, if you are using Plasma 5.25, you should switch to Latigit version as soon as possible. 
And let's remember that he also said that is not going to be able to release Latte 11, which means that this will remain a Git version and you have to install the Git version and not the stable version, which means that, of course, a person won't know this. So it, they will install LatteDoc, which is a, the stable version is version 11 and it's gonna be buggy. So currently we are in a very bad situation already because the stable version of LatteDoc is super buggy due to KD Plasma. This is not fault in LatteDoc, it's due to due KD Plasma. And why is that? Well, KD uh, LatteDoc actually uses a lot of um, APIs from Plasma and not all of those are uh, stable they can change between releases. So every release of Plasma, we should make sure that LatteDoc actually works in the latest version of KDE Plasma. And uh, in this case, Plasma 5.25 brought enough changes for LatteDoc to require some bug fixing. And um, this will have to happen for each Plasma release from now on. Now, we are already lucky that LatteDoc version 11 has the bug fixes even if it's not released, but at least it has the bug fixes for Plasma 5.25. I think uh, most of it are, uh, or at least, but uh, Plasma 5.26, 27, 28, who knows? So um, at this point, it is up to us, KDE Plasma developers, to make sure that LatterDoc still works for each version. And uh, that's not easy because uh, LatteDoc is a very big project, but uh, likely there's a lot of people on the Plasma project and many people that are way more skilled than me. So hopefully that can happen. But if you were thinking about, I don't know, new features coming to LatteDoc, that's simply not going to happen, I'm afraid, because that would add even more um, burden to the maintainer, which we currently don't even have. So. Uh, this means that it's not like we can just take LatteDoc and expect the features of LatteDoc to continue working at infinity. We actually need to work uh, for each KDE Plasma version to make sure that LatteDoc doesn't fall behind. And in theory, uh, LatteDoc 11 should be published sooner or later. We can't just tell people to use the Git version. They're going to use the stable one for the most part. So somebody has to publish them. I don't know who's that going to be. Surely not me, because I'm not able to do that. I have no knowledge in that sense. So I am a bit worried. And uh, all of that has to happen for LatterDoc to continue existing or without bugs in the future. So we need to uh, step up and uh, work on it. I'll try my best for each Plasma version to actually uh, test these kind of bugs, but only so much I can do. So hopefully I've seen already interest from other KDE Plasma developers. So hopefully that's gonna be enough. And if not, I, I, I'm a bit scared. Let's just say that.